So you're tired of, of all these bidding wars, these cash investors just kicking you out of the, of the real estate market, and you want, you want to get into a home ASAP, or your best bet might be getting into a new build in the San Diego area. I'm about to go through over some five communities here in the area that are new builds that are popular and I'm gonna be going fast in this video right now. Hey, what's up family? Emery Jensen here with the Living in San Diego channel and I'm, I'm a real estate agent here in San Diego with EFT Realty and we get people just like you all the time reaching out to us through call, text, email, or even a Zoom link in the description below. Put that on your calendar if you guys want the help. I'll get you that one-on-one -on -one time that you might need and want for coming to the area. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to my videos. That way you get notifications when I put out new stuff. I always appreciate it and it really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. So some new communities here are gonna be, a lot of them are gonna be down south towards uh, Chula Vista, East Lake, Ote Mesa, Ote Ranch area, um, and also downtown. I'll mention a few that are in downtown San Diego. Um, a lot of the newer stuff, they're also gonna be up north in the Temecula, Murrieta, Fallbrook area, but I'm not gonna get into those just yet because it's a lot, it's, it's a bit of a drive from the San Diego area, about an hour, hour and a half, depending what area you're going to and time of day. Um, so if you guys are interested in those areas though, please let me know, comment below. I would love to discuss those in a different video. But this one's gonna be all about the San Diego vicinity and the uh, immediate homes in the area. As I said, this the majority of this list was gonna be in uh, South Chula Vista, Ote Mesa, Ote Ranch area. First on the list is gonna be La Brisa community and the Maria community by TriPoint Homes in Ote Mesa, Ote Ranch. Also, Luca by Shea Homes and Santorita at Ote Ranch. Um, those are both, those are all great options. And then downtown San Diego, you're gonna have 40 on the West Condominiums, Condominiums by the Icon Properties. And then the Solera Loft is another condominium downtown by the Scandia Real Estate Group. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's all fine and dandy, dandy to know, but Emery, how do I get into the whole process of buying a new home? And I'll tell you right now, guys. So it's, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, it is quite a bit competitive though. There is, um, there's still a long list of people that want to buy these new builds. So my friend, even last year, up, to, up until last year, she got into a home onto the priority list and uh, took her six months to close on the home and get the keys in hand, right? And they're still building a lot more construction in, in her immediate area, like across the street from her, right? It's pretty crazy. Um, but to get on, onto these lists and get into secure your, your new build, your new home, they always require you to get onto their priority list. And what these lists are is uh, what they essentially make you do is to get with their lender, their in-house lender, and get you pre-approved to see if you can even qualify for the home. Uh, once you qualify, if you do, then you get put on the priority list. But um, I always recommend my clients, even people that aren't my clients, to go to these, to these in-house lenders and Get a second opinion with, your, I, don't, I don't care who it is, your bank, your credit union, or a lender that is referred to you by your agent or a friend. Get a second opinion to see if you can beat the in-house lender's uh, finance terms, whether it's interest rate or whatever it might be. Um, but a lot of times these in-house lenders can be pretty good when they offer you especially some builder credits or closing cost credits to you know either do upgrades for your home or lower your closing costs at the end of the deal. So keep that in mind, guys. As I said, once you get on this priority list, then it's gonna depend on, on the current status of the homes in the area, in the community. Um, some builders might have some homes currently built and ready to go to move into, but a lot of homes in this area, they don't really have homes ready to go right away. So like I said, you might have to wait three to six months um, and they release these phases of homes every two to three months. And I've seen, um, I've seen these phases go up in price every phase one after another up to 30 to 40 grand per phase so if you guys are really determined and really set on getting into these new build homes um and you have no doubt in your mind that you're gonna be happy in those areas then definitely get in, into these lists and secure your spot as soon as possible that way you can lock in your price before they go up like when they release the next phase keep that in mind guys as far as how long your escrow periods might be they could be anywhere from 30 to 90 days uh typically 60 days is, is the they say it's the longest, but you can get an extension request um, if you want to lock in your interest rate sooner. That way you have a lower interest rate because who knows what might happen with these interest rates right now. 
the federal, uh, you know, their hiking needs rights up. So these hiking needs rates up, sorry. So you might want to lock them in sooner rather than later. That's all up to you and you can discuss that with your lenders. The lenders, um, they will have different terms. They might, it's going to vary between all of them. So definitely advise with them. A lot of these homes, um, I kind of mentioned it earlier, they have the option to do upgrades and these builders can offer uh, builder credits, but upgrades going to be things like, you know, if you get the lowest, um, lowest kind of quality new build, you're going to have carpet everywhere. Uh, maybe, maybe some linoleum or vinyl, right? But, uh, you can upgrade your floors to get tile, uh, high quality vinyl, luxury vinyl planks. You can get recessed lighting installed or at least the fixtures for your, for your lighting, just small things like that. Uh, better equipped garages, like epoxy garages. So you can add on to these and make them more personalized if that's what you guys desire. Now I want to get more into the, one of the communities downtown San Diego, which is the luxury apartments. 41 West by Icon Properties. This I, this uh, condominium tower is gonna have, I think it's about 20 units, right? And they're luxury units. They are all two bed, two bath, and the rice is, the price is gonna, sorry, rice. Um, the price is gonna range depending on the square footage of the home and the view that you have um, in your condo. So like I said, they're all two bed, two bath condos. They are luxury condos. They have Italian, imported Italian cabinets, straight from Italy, beautiful cabinets. They have high-end appliances um, and they have porcelain tile on the floors of the restrooms and then also on the walls. So beautiful stuff. They did a great job with the whole thing and, and planning. Um, and the starting price for these is gonna be 2.4 million for the units that have 2,500 square feet and then up to 4.9 million depending on your square footage and view for the units that have 3,300 square feet. Let's keep that in mind when you, if you're lock, looking in that area. Um, the views are gonna be from, ranging from north, you're gonna be seeing Hillcrest. Uh, south, you're gonna be seeing downtown. West, you're gonna have the North Harbor. And then uh, east, you're gonna be seeing Balboa Park. So all of it's great views, um, but obviously the part of the highest highest price view is going to be of the North Harbor, of the ocean, the bay. Keep that in mind. Now, luxury and uh, downtown living is not your style. Luca is where you're going to find your single family homes. This is going to be an Ote Ranch. Luca has, uh, they have three plans starting at 845000 at the lowest price, lowest size home. And then it goes up to 910000 starting price for the, uh, the biggest home. Now, all the plans have two car garages. So that's a plus. Um, the lowest plan is going to be a four bedroom, three bath home with 2,500 square feet. So a pretty good size. And then the, uh, the biggest, the biggest plan is going to be a four bedroom, three point three and a half bath, um, with 3,300 square feet as well. And that's going to be a 910,000, but that's excluding any upgrades, any, you know, um, aftermarket installations or fixtures and stuff like that. Again, this is going to be in the Chula Vista area of Ote Ranch. You guys might be wondering, Emory, can investors buy these homes? And there are no restrictions against investors that buy these homes. Um, but keep in mind, you know, uh, they do have capital gains tax if you are trying to sell before the two year mark. So that might, it might not be a great deal to do uh, if you're looking to flip it. I would not recommend that at all. Um, another question I get as well too is, do they have a certain time frame from where they can sell it? And the answer is no, um, there's no builder restrictions. There are, they might have some loan restrictions as far as if you buy the home with a primary loan, like the VA loan, FHA loan, or a conventional loan. Those are all primary loans. And if you live in those, you have to live in those for a year. Unless you have some kind of big event where you know you have a, a job change, um, death in the family, or you know something big like that where you, you have justification to leave the home. Um, just keep in mind though, if you do sell it before the two year mark, you do have to pay capital gains tax, which can be pretty, pretty hefty uh, tax to pay. To avoid the capital gains tax, you just wait two years, you can sell it, and if you make a profit of up to $250,000, if you're single, you can ex uh, exempt those from your taxes on the IRS. If you're married, you can exempt up to 500,000 on your taxes, so uh, those are pretty huge margins. Keep that in mind when you're looking to uh, get into these new bills and possibly sell in the, in the distant future. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today on this video about the new builds in the San Diego South downtown area. 
Like I said earlier, if you guys have any stuff that you want to look at that are more, it's more up north, please comment below. Let me know if you have a community in mind. Drop it down in the comments and I'll do some of my research and I'll get back to you guys with a video as soon as possible. As always, if you're looking to come to the area you want to learn some more, please reach out to me through call, text, email, or even a Zoom call in the description below. Schedule that. We'll get some one-on-one -on -one time and that way I can really help you guys out a lot better than just these videos, right? Um, as always, if you guys have not done it already, please subscribe and click the like button. It really helps me out. That way too, you guys are, you guys can see when I got some new stuff coming out and just to help you guys know, know the area a lot better. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please continue to watch. Let me know how I can help and uh, have a great day.